Merci. Thank you. All three of our candidates are now in the room. I would like you to give them a warm round of applause, please. Merci, chef. Thank you, delegates. We're turning now to agenda item seven, announcing the election results. I would like to announce the result of the first round for election of Director General. Mr. Pascal Cliva, Switzerland, 40 votes. Jacques Hamond, Belgium, 14 votes. Masahiko Metoki, Japan, 102 votes. Merci. I'd like to thank you all. According to Article 21 of the Rules of Procedure of Congresses, the candidate who obtains a majority of the votes cast by the member countries present and voting shall be elected. As many ballots shall be held as are necessary for a candidate to obtain this majority. The candidate who obtains the least number of votes in any one ballot shall be eliminated. In this scenario, we have a candidate who has already reached the majority of votes. Having reached the majority of those voting and present after one round, there is no need to proceed with a second round of voting. I I'm glad to state that Mr. Masahiko Metoki has been elected as the new Director General of the Universal Postal Union. Monsieur le Directeur Général. The Director General has asked to take the floor. You may have the floor, sir. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman, for giving me the floor. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished heads of delegation, ambassadors, ministers, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, I would like first and foremost to take this opportunity to thank all the member states who are here today and those who have sent their proxies for enabling this uh, democratic process to have taken effect here in Cote d'Ivoire, in Abidjan. Your Excellencies, I have been through this uh, process uh, twice before with my colleague here. I know Elections are very, um, very stressful, very emotional sometimes. But again, very, very democratic way of uh, electing our leadership. And therefore, once again, the Universal Postal Union has demonstrated that the membership of this union fulfill the obligation to elect the leadership uh, in a transparent and open manner like we have seen done here today. So again, I want to thank all of you for this uh, uh, remarkable exercise you have done this morning. The second thing is I would like to express my profound congratulations to His Excellency, Mr. Mitoki, the new elect Director General of the Universal Postal Union. And I want to say, Mr. Mitoki, congratulations to you 
for a remarkable success on first round election. What this says is that member countries have endorsed the confidence in you and in Japan to lead this union for the next cycle. And for that, I want to congratulate the government of Japan and of course, the whole delegation of Japan for this uh, remarkable effort they have done to uh, uh, really uh, present uh, a very solid candidate to us. Thirdly, Mr. Chairman, I would like to congratulate my colleague, Mr. Pascal Cleaver, a very remarkable gentleman who has worked with me for the last eight years and who, with whom I have had the pleasure to work and deliver two cycles with him. I want to thank him for his uh, commitment, his dedication and his leadership and the effort he has made to present himself one more time for this uh, 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 very remarkable position of a Director General. Mr. Pascal Cleva, thank you very much and we want to, uh, I really, I will come back to that. I also want to thank Mr. Jack Hammond, our colleague from Belgium, who has also shown a very uh, remarkable uh, ability to be able to come forward and present his candidature. Your Excellencies, I would like you to, to give them a big round of applause. Um, I would like to again assure the new incoming Secretary General that the International Bureau Secretariat will make every effort to effect a smooth transfer of leadership of the Union when the debt comes. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I would like to say I want to thank the government of Cote d'Ivoire and the leadership of Cote d'Ivoire who have made this possible to hold one of the most difficult but yet most successful congress here in Cote d'Ivoire and the I knew you could do it and I've never failed to get I mean I've never failed to recognize that your ability to do this congress was in doubt so Mr Chairman once again I would like you to convey to His Excellency the President and the Prime Minister that you made us proud to hold the first ever, I mean, Congress after Egypt in 1934 on an African soil and the first, what I can say, uh, hybrid electronic mode of Congress, I think I can say in the whole of the UN system, we may be the first the pioneer to have started these things. And again, once again, a big congratulations to all of you and a big round of applause for yourself. I would like to take this opportunity to wish the next candidates for the position of Deputy Director General every success when we come back this afternoon. And thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, for giving me the floor. Merci. Merci, Monsieur. Thank you, Secretary General. It is now time for our lunch break. We shall resume at 1400 hours sharp. Thank you very much, and now rejoin for lunch. <laughs>